Hi everyone, today we will be talking about how to change chart dimension while clicking any buttons. As we can see here, we have two buttons, department and full name. Let's look at our fields. We have department field and full name fields. They are different fields. And in our chart, right now we have full name. As soon as I will click on department, as you can see here, department field is chosen as the main field for this chart. We, as soon as we will uh, click in a button, it's changed. Let's see how we can achieve it using ClickSense Desktop. Create new application. Let's call this application Chart Changer. Let's open. Uh, as always, we will go to the data load editor and we will create new folder connection. Uh, it will take some time to the new connection, folder connection, and all of our folder here in my folder in download data here folder. Let's create it. Let's get the data, data, just file, insert script, here we are, save, and load the data. We have all the necessary data, let's go to our uh, sheet, let's create new, and let's create new bar chart. For the simplicity, as always, we will add a department. And let's add new measure, add amount, and some amount. Here we are. Then the first thing we have to create is variable. So variable Z. It will be variable changer. We can let's, uh, name it as changer. And our default is department. Let's call it as department. And definition it should be department and description of the department. Here we are. We already have. And let's add new two buttons. First button. Let's make it look better. Let's go to general. We don't need it. We need only department. And let's go to add action. From the action section, we need to set a variable value. So we're here, we are just checking variable. We have variable changer. And when we click on button, we would like to be user variable here. What we created with changer. Changer should be department. Here we are. It's clear for us. Then let's uh, copy and paste it for this is not to do it same action again let's call it full name because we would like to change this one uh, department dimension with full name dimension let's call it full name as a value and let's go to set variable and here we are just putting it not department let's make it full name here save let's check if it really does work Let's add here for simplicity. Let's make it as a table and to the table add only one dimension and then it should be the changer here. And let's apply. Let's done. As soon as first value is department, let's get the button doesn't change, full name and changing. It works so much nice. Next thing to do, let's go to our department uh, as a field. So what we are telling here, we are telling if we changer what we have. This if we changer equal to we have department should be department 
if not we have to have full name field should be chosen let's apply it we have done it and let's click department department is full name department and full name it works pretty nice let's don't make keep it how it is here let's make it more beautiful what we are doing here let's add different color for the bar chart and also some practice what we learned before we don't need mini chart here and let's go to color and legend this color and let's make it color by dimension different colors here we are and list as soon as as you can see here even we are just changing we have different kind of title here so let's change it more beautiful let's go we have here telling that if statements so use the same if statement for the label let's copy v and tell here department and full name let's done here it looks more clear right now and let's choose department it works so much nice so let's add uh, values show the values here let's go to appearance once more and here valuables value labels should be visible here it looks more beautiful what can we do now we can go one step ahead and we can uh, so shows a sign of which uh, button has been chosen so let's go department button so as you can see here we have background so this also we have all done let's copy paste for simplicity not to write everything from the giving let's go to department and come to background color let make expression fx and control v it's if the department button we are if it department should be green simplicity if not should be sample blue or black let's make it blue let's see let's copy it and let's go to full name and let's go the same background color expression fx control v again here it's full name it should be green else here we are it's full name it works pretty nice thank you for joining us today see you at the next videos